Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Peglin. We are jumping back in once again and I think this time we can activate Crucible and see where we're at. So, so far we've done Crucible 1, 2 and 3 and we're on to 4. So, so far the effects that we have on is uh, starting each run with uh, plus 1 stern and sterns have uh, minus 1 to their crit. We also have mini boss battles um, can appear in question mark scenes and can uh, we contain one less crit. And now we get the miss navigation um, increasing to five damage, five under five damage. So let's just start this out and see if we can get some completions going on now that we've got our footing with the new update. But if you guys didn't see the first episode with the new update, please go and check it out. It's very interesting. Honestly, special button just to return that crit back to us would be rather nice. When he hits you with a melee attack, attack apply ten blind. Attack supply blind four to enemies. Um, <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to go with the additional crit, I'll be honest. Just to return it from the Crucible, taking it as away from us. Also, this time we're going to play with the majority of the game sped up. Because the episode last time was where it ended up being a lot longer than I expected. So, I hope you guys are okay with that. But please do let me know what you think. This time around we want to be trying to get as much money as we possibly can. While also obviously trying to kill these guys. Um... We don't have any easy crits this time around, so I'm just going for the bombs and as much coins as we can possibly get. I think this first level is really important to get a lot of coins if plausible. Unfortunately, our, um, that was really bad. Our thingies are yet again unavailable to us, our crits. So these guys are going to get close and probably get some hits in. Um, I'm just going to try and get a bit more money here. And then I'm hoping we can pretty much take care of the rest with the bombs here. Bomb will not quite kill you gonna be another hit on us another two hits in fact there's some more money there's finally a crit we've almost actually secured all the money from the stage we've got 50 already which is a huge get for us and i'm gonna try and get as much of the additional as i can in the pursuit of this bomb down here there you go we've got almost all the money now actually we are taking quite a bit of damage here i realize but yeah, I'm mean, really enjoying the new update. Uh, as I said in the last episode, I've been thoroughly enjoying the new update to uh, Peglin. The uh, fa the addition of money and everything is just really, really nice. I think we're going to go for a spear here. And we're going to upgrade that spear one time as well. Just the fact that we can do that before, you didn't really get that opportunity. Uh, I think we'll go straight for the item here. It's going to jumpstart our run a little bit, I hope. Let's have a look. Your aim is longer displays an additional bounce. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. That's really, really nice. And then where do we want to go from here? We got an elite. <clears throat> I probably do want to go to my shop to remove a stern. Let's take the question mark path. And then go to our shop. We're going to miss out on elites if we go to our shop. Actually, there is another shop there. Okay, let's, let's go question mark. And we'll... I think I've got an idea of where I want to go here. I want to take the question mark path down kind of this way, try and grab that elite, and then we can also grab the second shop. We'll bin that. But yeah, being able to get that second bounce, super, super valuable. Oh, we got that bomb early as well. Really, really nice. And then we've got our piercing coming up next. If we can get a crit on this, that'd be fantastic. Um... Yeah, that extra bounce indication is super nice. Again, we want to try and get as much money as possible here. I'm not bothered if we don't get all of it. But as much as we can possibly get. The piercing didn't end up even mattering there, but there you go. There you go. Ah, that didn't really work as I wanted it to. But it did manage to get the crit, which is going to deal a good bit of damage to you. The crit here is unfortunately pretty difficult to grab, so I'm not going to bother. At the minute, I'm, I'm mainly just going for that money. We've got quite a lot of money on the right side and on the top here that we haven't managed to grab yet. So let's try and get those. That was not really what I intended. But this guy, he's actually got quite a ways to go before he gets to us. So I think we can take our time here and just not deal very much damage to him and just go for uh, as much money as we can get before the end of this wave. I, I really don't want to hit that bomb. That's a lot more money. Good, good. Now, this is going to kill him, unfortunately. But, good amount of money secured. Um, ooh, and we can take a Bob Orb. Bob Orbs are really fun. Allow us to convert things into bombs. I think I'm going to take that. Add that, and then we'll continue onwards. Unfortunately, we didn't get an extra three coins there. That would have been rather nice. So, I think now we go 
right for the question mark here. I, I keep forgetting you can get money still in the navigation. But we also don't want to have missed navigation because we lose a lot more HP doing that. We'll get the crit here. That's a good amount of damage and no bombs, obviously. But still. We'll trash one of those stones to try and get to our piercing a little faster. We just want to clear up as much mess as we can to get to these bombs. But the piercing here is going to do good uh, good bits for us here. So let's see if we can get a good bit of damage on this. I'm going to go straight up there so we kind of fall straight down the center. Potentially get a bomb or two. We got a bomb. Oh, no, we got, we got two. We got two. And then there's the piercing there. And then we'll try and get some bombs again going. A hey, beautiful. Not too bad at all. This one's kind of interesting. We don't have any self-damage built up yet, but um, that could be quite good. I think we'll go for an upgrade on that. And then, oh, we're two coins off. But question mark and question mark. We really, really need to head um, left on this. So I think we just go straight for it rather than collecting coins because we really need to navigate left towards this elite. Um, shake the tree. We got an egg. I always forget what the egg does. Egg. Heals you for each peg hit permanently breaks when hitting something solid on the pegboard. Okay. Bit of a way for us to gain some HP. Now, what's the best way? Okay, there you go. Just to go left. And then we can hit this up. I suppose if we have enough money, we could go for the shop. But I don't think we're I don't think we're gonna have enough to make it super valuable. Hit the other bomb. Yes! The fact that the bombs launch you away as well is so good. Oh, we didn't quite get the third bomb there. But two bombs is pretty damn good, especially considering one of these guys is already dead. Um We're just gonna try and get as much more money as we can here. That piercing definitely helps. Get more money. Hey, okay, we, we got a lot more money there. Good, good. Up to 66. I think we I think we take nothing here. We do have this one for the self-damage. I think we take nothing though. We continue on. And we go for the elite here. Having the extra bounce here to be able to work out the best way to get it in the Oh, that's pretty good. I think we just do this and it should land in there. There you go. We got an additional coin out of it too. This will take us to the elite, and then we go right, right. <clears throat> so I don't think this will deal any damage, but it will create some bombs. It only created the one. We don't need the healing right now, so don't even bother with that. That was a terrible hit there. The piercing one is where we need big hits, so let's go for the crit, shall we? Didn't get amazing damage, but that's still pretty good. Pierced a few targets. I'm going to go for the crit. This is a mini boss, though, so the big guy at the back is really the one that we care about. Not even nearly enough damage is coming out here at the moment. And I haven't hit any of the bombs yet either. Like, I haven't detonated them at least. How am I missing so poor? I'm missing so bad at the minute. Right, bomb. Takes care of one of you. Another bomb. Another bomb. Takes care of both of you. Good. Now we can actually focus on killing this guy. Which I think in order to do that, we need to be getting crits. Wasn't a great crit. He's got 400 health remaining. Obviously, I'm trying to get the money as well here, but that's not of super importance. Really? Okay, we created one more bomb. There's two bombs. He's still going to do a good amount of damage to us, though, here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ooh, that, that felt a little risky. I'm going to keep my money. Um, we're up to a good amount here. Um, whenever a crit is triggered, deal your orbs uh, crit damage to all enemies. Wow. Okay, I think we're going to go with that. That sounds really good. Um, and then we want to be going right here. That seems like it could be insanely good. And we open this up. 
Whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage to the targeted enemy equal to the number of pegs restored. I think I also want to go for that too. And then we go for our shop here. Let's see what we can do here. So automatically we want to be removing one, um, one orb. So that's like first things first. We remove one of those. And now we have a look. We've got 93, which isn't quite enough to buy two. But we see what, any of these that we want. Um... Heal six when reloading. Enemies don't get their extra turn for your first reload. I'll be honest, none of these are particularly good. Which isn't amazing. Um, plus one one for each bomb detonated this battle. Potentially pretty good. I think I'm just going to exit the store though. That, that was not what I was hoping for, I'll be honest. Um, and I think we'll just take question marks here if plausible. Good, good. Try and get some random events. P potentially some more elites. Um, dash through the flames. We do lose a bit of HP doing that. A little worried about my HP right now. We, If we get the rock here, I'm going to be so annoyed. We could potentially finagle this. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. We did it. I'm still going to add that. That's pretty decent. I'm going to keep my deck pretty thin this time around, though. And I should have pretty much the exact same result as last time. Okay, good. And we got a battle. That's nice. That is not really the outcome I was hoping for. But decent damage nonetheless. That's not bad. E, the refresh is super good there too. Okay, this is good. We're getting the, the C strats going. We do need the healing now. So maybe I'll do this. Oh, that does not work the way I thought it did at all. Whoopsie. That was pretty bad. <laughs> I thought that that would... Um, Hit a bunch of pegs and heal me for all the pegs it hits. Apparently that is not the way that works. Damn it, I was really hoping we'd get the crit there. This is not going well. We have lost a lot of HP on a reload there. Okay, that wasn't great. Um, I think we need to heal, unfortunately. And I think we go for an upgrade on this. And I think we also go for an upgrade on this. I don't think we want to upgrade anymore. Okay. Health is not good for this battle, but we've just got to see how it goes. We thinned our deck out a decent amount. We should throw the stones away whenever we have the opportunity. We want to get as much money as we can out of this fight. We already hit one of the bombs. That's great. Really? Sword? Did you have to? Not that I needed that damage there, but come on. Oh my god, my orbs are just doing the worst things possible here. Look at that! Why did you do that? It's not how I wanted you to act at all. Okay, we have three bombs there, that's good. Still very worried about my current HP. Especially considering I don't have a refresh that's easy to grab here. Damn it, hit the refreshes, please. He's at 34. I basically have to get one of these other bombs here. Oh, no, no, no. I think we're good. We got him. Okay. 
That was horrible, but we got there in the end. Upgrade. I guess I could just upgrade this for some flat damage. Good, good. And then we've got deal two times damage, but you deal self damage for every 25 pegs hit. Um, provides explosive force until the board is refreshed. Yeah, let's go with that. That seems pretty useful. Okay, forest has been completed. Lovely. Right, I think we elite our shop straight away. I think I'd rather go shop first. Yeah, the explosive force thing is, is pretty awesome. Keeps our things, things moving around the board as much as possible. How did that not hit the crit? This is the explosive force thing. It's fine. few bombs out there, and then one of you left. Good, good. Okay, we got there in the end, and now I think we wanna we wanna pop this. I think this is this is good now, and I think we upgrade it, and let's upgrade it again, and then not go to the shop. Go for the elite straight away instead. There's probably another shop we can take later on. I don't think it's super reliable that we could have hit a thingy there. Yeah, look at that explosive force thing. It's just keeping us bouncing around like crazy. It makes things a lot more unpredictable. So that's a little bit of a shame. But otherwise, it's pretty good. We don't want to use that yet. Let's go for a refresh here. Unfortunately, it means if we go straight for a refresh... We don't get the explosive force kicks. A good amount of bombs there. Damn it. Once it's hit the refresh, things slow down dramatically. Still useful, but not quite as much. This one I don't really care about. Just throw it out there. We hit one of the bombs at least. This wall's going down pretty quick. Hit as many bombs as we can here. There you go. Got a few bombs out there. No easy crit there. Let's go for the bomb again. <sighs> Hitting the refresh so early is such a problem. Also, every spot that's had a bomb on it can no longer be refreshed. So that creates problems. This is an 18-18. So it doesn't matter which one we hit. But this is really, really good damage on this thing. Because more bombs have exploded. Which makes it into an absolute nut house of a attack. I do think I need to quickly just go to my settings. Um, don't think I want anything there. All orbs have persist one. I think that means they can be like used again. Although, actually, let's go for that. Extra orb the longer it's in flight. Uh, I think I just need to change the, the like lower the sound just a little bit because it seems a little loud. Right, down we go, and then we'll take a left here to go to the chest. And get rid of these. We don't want to hit the um, the refreshes early, so we keep that explosive force going, but sometimes it's unavoidable. It is what it is. Ow, we reflected 10 damage to ourselves there. So this thing's currently going to do zero damage, so yeah, pretty worthless. Good damage on you. It's crazy as well that it's every three that it gives the explosive force. It's quite a lot. That's what I'm thinking about. The longer it's in flight, the more damage it does. Like, I feel like that's going to stack up real nicely with the explosive force thing we got going on. I don't know how quickly it stacks up. Ow. 11 damage on us. Goddamn. Good amount of bombs there. And this one we got back, which is only 2-2, two, because two, we've only exploded two bombs so far. There we go. 
Suck them out. Echo deals X percent of the previous attacks as bonus damage. Again, I don't think that's super useful for us. I'm going to save my money. We want to be going left here. So we can get that chest. We'll try and figure out where the next, next shop is in a moment. Have a little look-see. Next shop is all the way right. Okay, we can do that. Is there an easy way for us to get a crit here? Not really. Let's just go for this then. Oh, really? You have to hit the refresh that early? We don't have anything to destroy the armored blocks this time, which is something we did have access to last time. Luckily, the refreshes are a bit harder to hit this time round, although I managed to hit one there. Um, okay, we got a good amount of bombs on the field there. This is still 2-2. Two, two. This is 2-3. Hit a few more bombs beforehand if we can, and that's going to up our damage with this thing to... Still at 2-2 two, two right now, but it should go up after this finishes. Please hit a refresh before the end of your turn. There you go. Beautiful bomb damage. Okay, everything's dead anyways. Good, good. I'm gonna I'm gonna just save up my money here. I'm just gonna go ham with the money and save it all up. I'm pretty happy with where everything stands right now with our abilities. I wanna just go for my shop and basically be able to clean house. <clears throat> Battle starts with five extra coin pegs. Decent, not great. Duplicate all my orbs or duplicate a random orb. Let's duplicate a random orb and just hope for the best out of that. We're checking our backpack, what we end up getting randomized there. I think we got our dag orb duplicated there, unfortunately, which is not really the one we wanted, but not terrible though. There should be another pretty easy battle here. I don't know why it's used the stern. I thought I had the thingy next, but there you go. Good amount of bombs again, not great. Good crit. Now we need to hit a refresh pretty seriously. Yeah, there you go. Makes our life much easier for next round. 5-5 five, five on this thing. It's not bad. Eh. Kind of sometimes it just jets itself off. And kills itself, which is really annoying. Like with the, the extra bounce that it gets, it kind of just goes boom. Bye. Okay. Again, this guy is feeling a little tricky right now. We're trying to destroy as many bombs as possible to get our bomb damage up for that other peg. That other orb, should I say? I don't even know if we can get a crit with this. I may have balls this up. Really like a refresh here. The ball's looking a bit barren. We finally got the crit. Lovely. There we go. There's the refresh. Lovely. Okay. We got him killed. Regardless of the bomb damage. Refreshes the board when this orb leaves the peg board. Refreshes the... Um, refreshes the board when this orb is discarded. Ooh. Okay. I will take that. Continue. Either of these are pretty good. Let's just go with that, I guess. I don't actually know if I was meant to go that way, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure I wasn't. Fuck. That was so stupid of me. I'm sorry. Um, That's good. We want that. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't looking at where the shop was. My bad. We got this one again. Wow, it's the third time. Good stuff. Easy crits to switch to this. Not a lot of damage, but it's fine. Skip through some of the stones here. 
try and get the crit there. Nah, didn't quite manage it. Doesn't it doesn't make too much damage. It's two damage versus three. It's not a big difference. But it is a difference, so. Now this is this is big money. This will hopefully keep this guy in the air for a little while. This might be him dead if we can keep it in the air long enough. There you go, he's dead. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. Upgrade. Still don't want any of those. Yeah, we'll go for that. We, 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 were, we were low on sustain last time, so that'll help us out a ton. Yeah, that's really unfortunate that I didn't see where the shop was going to be. But we got the elite regardless. That's nice. Remove all orbs. Remove an orb. Okay, we'll definitely remove a stone here. Health-wise on this boss, we're not doing great. But this guy doesn't tend to hit you that much. Honestly, the jumping thing is going to be insanely, insanely good on this guy. It's going to stay in the air for so long. This damage is all going to go to waste, though, because it's not going to... We're not going to get those guys killed. I would like to see if we can get a refresh before. We're, we're like, looking for a world record here. We're about to clear the entire board. There we go, we got a refresh. Okay, no, it didn't go to waste, good. Refreshes when it leaves the board. Okay, so this one's actually pretty good. This is, this is basically a freebie. It's going to create a bunch of bombs for us. Every 12 that it hits, it should create a bomb. There you go. Um, But it's also going to refresh the board when it leaves. So it's kind of a freebie. Because normally we'd be worried about not getting a refresh. But now we're not so worried about that. We're basically spawning and detonating bombs permanently, which is really nice too. There you go, refreshes. Dagob. We're getting rid of the Dagobs right now because there's just no guarantee we can actually get a crit here. And at this point, we've already got our Shock Absorber up to 2121. So, as long as we can get a refresh after this, which I'm really hoping we can manage. It's not completely plausible, but it's not implausible either, so we'll see how it goes. It's not looking great right now, but it's on the wrong side of the screen to get a crit. But things can change pretty rapidly, as you just saw. Come on. Ah, bollocks. This is going to make things a little trickier for this little bugger. He's not going to do anywhere near as much damage as would have hurt. Hmm. Pretty pathetic damage, unfortunately. Not having that refresh there. Come on, get a refresh. You're so close, just hit the refresh, you fuck. Damn you. Get this out of the way. There you go, we finally got it. We still, we still got plenty of time to kill this guy. Don't worry about that. Just loving the amount of bombs we've created here. It's beautiful. I love the fact that that brooch one as well. When we discard it, it refreshes the board too. So we can just use it as, a, as an automatic refresh if it comes before a really good orb. This is going to be bad, but I need to try and refresh. Actually worked out pretty well, to be honest. I don't know why it's still getting the power when I did a, when I did a refresh. It shouldn't be getting the power, but hey her. I mean, this guy's dead. The bombs are just going to annihilate him here. This thing managed to get up to 38-38.
Yeah. <laughs> I think we go for another one of these. And we just upgrade it all the way. Because those things are pretty good. Let's continue. Um, can only in four directions. But you have minus one orb discard. Can't discard. All pegs have durable. Let's give that a go. Durable pegs can be weird. Basically, that just means that we can hit each peg more than once. It that that could sometimes be bad, sometimes be good. We'll see. Anyways, do we have a shop anywhere near? Let's have a little research. Yeah, shop to the left. Let's stay far left, shall we? Honestly, for this like generating bombs and um, having the 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 force thing stay around. The uh, durable pegs is a fantastic idea. We're going to generate so many more bombs. And hit so many fewer crits. Beautiful. This is already at 1717 after one turn. Yeah, okay. This is this is nuts. This was a very good idea. This was a very good idea. Wow, okay. Um again I wanna save my money here. We're going left. I mean this one doesn't actually matter, we have to go straight down here anyways, so whatever way we can get into the uh pit a little Good. Took five damage there. It's fine. Beautiful. We didn't pop really any bombs there, so this isn't going to be super good. It's only 2-2. Two, two. Best thing we can do is pop more bombs. I don't know if it, it applies during its use. Doesn't look like it does. But we got the kill anyways there. Continue on. We're going far left here. Far left. Peg start with plus bombs. Um, we, we definitely want the peg start with plus bombs. It just... Is there any good way for us to do this? That's probably the best idea. There you go, we got it. Love that. And again... This is basically all luck here, but... The uh, extra bounce helps. Being able to show the extra bounce with the, uh, the, sh the little shot thing, whatever you want to call it. Now, these... These are where things become more problematic. Because now, we have to hit these red bombs to deal good damage to these guys, and we can't. Because <laughs> pegs are durable. That's not enough. I'm going to take some hella damage here, yep. I'm going to take some hella damage here. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Splat Orb level 3 is pretty interesting. Continue onwards there, and straight to the shop. Okay, we have a ton to work with with the shop here. So we, of course, want to remove an orb. And then, let's see, what do we want to buy? Heal for one for every peg um, while successfully navigating. Heals two every time the board is refreshed. Really good. Every reload grants two um, to our damage. Board will contain an additional refresh. All of those are pretty good. And we can leave now. 
And I think we want to go left here. Not what I intended, but <laughs> it's fine. We'll go to that elite after as well. Fortunately, it's given me kind of the wrong things early here. Got a few bombs tossed out there. Got some good damage, killed one of these guys, but this is still only on 2-2. I think we got a red bomb proc there. No, we just got a bunch of normal bombs. Still a good amount of damage though. We got this guy with the piercing. Honestly, just throw it randomly and see what happens. One bomb and this should be everything killed. Oh, everything but this guy, of course. I realise adding an extra refresh to the board does complicate things, but I think just having the extra refreshes is nice considering we heal off refreshes. Good, good. And then we might as well just start upgrading these. There you go. If we can get the Elite, we will try it, but honestly, it's not looking too good. This could literally go either way, or it could take me straight into the fire. I'm trying my hardest here. Holy fuck, how do I keep landing in the fire? Ah, oh, you bastard! Fuck's sake. We do have another shop down here, but I haven't really saved for it, unfortunately. Good damage on that guy. Very good damage here. Well, okay then. Not what I was expecting, but we'll continue on. Doesn't matter which one of these two we go for. We can still get to a shop. I don't think the shop's going to be any use to us, though, because I spent all my money. I should have looked further before doing that. Shop. I'm pretty sure it's going to be more than 45 to remove an orb here. I think it's going to be 55. 60, unfortunately, yeah. Can't get anything here. That's a shame. That's a shame, because we have some in interesting stuff here, but... Well, at the store. Just basically a space skip that counts as. Right, this thing should stay flying for a good amount of time here. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. We're going to get quite a lot of bombs made. In fact, potentially enough for an insta-kill. Of, yeah, insta-kill of everything on the, on the page for us there. We've got a few red bombs in there. As you can see as well, we're healing a ton. Heal four when fired can only be used once per battle. I'm going to grab that. I realise I don't want to pad my deck out too much more, but a Poltergeist Orb could be really good. As you saw there, it was really, really good. But if we can get enough damage with it, it can pass through multiple enemies, which is really helps in the final boss. Piercing on the final boss is, like, really important. Got that crit. Got a few bombs. We'd like a refresh here, but we don't need one. Eh, hey, refresh, lovely. Like I said, the only thing is, you can see how patchy it is now because of all the bombs we've created.
And all y'all should be dead from just the bombs here, but just in case, we're doing a lot of damage as well. Lovely. Right, down we go. We got question mark and then elite, I think. And then boss. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't really need that, but there you go. Can't really play this the intended way because we can't really roll down a hill without our things going crazy. Damn it. Would have been better if we killed that guy first, but there you go. This is 5-5 five, five, or 6-5 at the minute, which isn't bad. Okay, this guy's going to be increasing his damage all the time here, so he's a little bit worrisome. I'm hoping we just get some of these red bombs. Takes care of him. Not a ton of them, but a good amount of regular bombs. He's almost dead. And as you see, it will create a, a ton of bombs here too. This should be him dead. Ah, oh, we popped all the red bombs. We didn't, if we had no need to, we'd lose a bunch of health for no reason here. Then we might as well just heal because of that. And why not get the stone to max rank too? Th this portal thing was really good last time, so I'm going to take it. Okay, boss time. I don't know how this is going to go. We don't have a lot of piercing, which scares me. Ooh, that's, that, yeah, that's, that's a bad sign. We do have much better uh, sustain, though, now with our healing and stuff, so that's good. I hate when it does that. It just gets stuck. We're dealing a lot more damage. We're healing up from our hits now. Here's the piercing. This is important. This one needs to be good. It wasn't amazing. It was okay. Now this one is the one that needs to be good. didn't really do what I wanted it to. I need to get in there, but with the durable pegs, it's really hard to get in there. I don't know. We're doing we're doing pretty bad right now. When we're getting nowhere near enough health back. Okay, that was good, but we're... Yeah, we're not getting anywhere near enough healing back. Oh, dude. The reload just screwed us. You went straight in the pit. We're dead. Fuck. I thought that was a really good build. I thought we had it in the bag then. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.